A typical studio day finds me working as many hours as I can in my workroom actually clicking bricks. There's all other sorts of things going on like the exhibitions and, and whatnot, but when I'm really happy, I'm sitting in my studio creating something. I think the first, the first aha moment was probably when I was around 10 years old. Uh, I asked my parents to get a dog and uh, they said, you're not getting a dog. So what did I do? I took all my Lego bricks and I built myself a life-size Lego dog. Now it was kind of rectangular, kind of boxy, so I called it a boxer. Uh, and that was the first time I realized, wow, you can really build anything out of these bricks. As I grew up, uh, I ended up uh, not really believing in my art, not having faith in making a career out of my artwork. So what does a young budding artist do? They go to law school. So I went to law school, I practiced corporate law in New York City for several years, uh, but eventually I found that uh, I needed some sort of creative outlet. I would come home at night after a long day at the law firm and I would need to create. And I was sculpting out of more traditional media like clay and wire, but one day I challenged myself to use Lego bricks as my medium. So I started creating large-scale sculptures out of Lego, and that's led to where I am today. Well, I'd say the worst day as an artist is still better than the best day as a lawyer. So all these pieces are actually recycled Lego bricks. Every piece you see here has been played with. Uh, I often get families contacting me saying, Hey, our kids are grown up. We're going to throw out all these bricks. Do you want them? I'm like, of course. I'd rather have them come here than go to a landfill. Uh, so I've, I've created my own little green initiative. I call it Replay. And I, I just use reclaimed Lego bricks to create art. There's a piece in the Morris Museum exhibition that has um, all recycled bricks as well. It's called Stairway, and it's this figure uh, that's multicolored as well. When you picture the shape of a Lego, it's primarily rectangular or square, um, but what Nathan has been able to do is really stretch the geometric potential. So he really does incredible sculptures that focus on the human body. So when you think of the three-dimensional aspects of the human form and the roundness or the different perspective that, that he adopts, it's uh, really incredible. How he's able to take these rectangular pieces and really sculpt a very round, three-dimensional objects is awe-inspiring. I just wanted to find a broad spectrum of work. So there's some pieces like uh, the yellow figure tearing his chest open and bricks spilling out. There's some what I call uh, oversized masks, these large four-foot-tall masks of different people. I just wanted everyone to go there and really find something that they can enjoy. Look, it's made of Lego, so it's a fun exhibition in general, but hopefully there's something else they can take from it too. What we have in this particular gallery are a number of pieces that um, include uh, larger than life common objects such as a pencil everyday objects such as chess pieces that all of a sudden are two feet high. There's one in particular um, that show um, a man dressed in a suit and it sort of looks like he's peeling the inside of his body open and there's, you know, the creative self trying to emerge. I think there's something about Lego artwork that appeals to everyone. I think it's because we've all played with it at some point. We've all snapped a few bricks together at one point in our lives. So people relate to this art on a whole new level. You know, if people go to an art museum and they see a, a marble statue, they can appreciate it. But if they come home that night, they're probably very doubtful that they'll have a slab of marble they can start chipping away at. 
but kids have Lego at home. So they go and see this exhibition, they get excited, they can come home and get inspired and build right there themselves in their own home. It's really neat to see very young children staring up at the sculpture and just mesmerized by it. And, but it appeals to people of all ages. Um, there's a lot of Lego aficionados out there. Um, people who maybe, like myself, played with Legos as a child and maybe continue to harbor that little creative bent and say, boy, this is really neat stuff. So one thing about this art studio is that out this window, you can still see the MetLife building where I used to be an attorney. And, uh, but one, one, one great thing about it is you just see the word life now. Uh, so that's kind of nice. But it always reminds me where I've been and where I am.